It makes no sense to me that in this year, 2010, in this new millennium, that a person who may be deaf is not able to have accessibility in the way that is possible when we are traveling in space, not just to the moon, but beyond. It is unacceptable. Thank you so very much. Mr. Secretary General, Ambassador Rice, all of the members here of the United Nations family, it is truly uh, an honor beyond any that I have ever imagined would happen in a lifetime to be able to be pinned and given the opportunity to spread the message of love is truly in need of love today. It is beyond my ability to fathom that 10% of the people of this world don't matter to the other 90% of the people in the world. I'm not able to believe that. And the only way that you can show and that we can show our caring about that 10% is by doing something to make the world more accessible and for people to be accepted with disabilities by committing ourselves to opening all the doors and all the possibilities for those who are physically challenged in any way. It makes no sense to me that here we are in approaching 2010 in this new millennium we have people in the world that just because they cannot see we have not made this world accessible to them it makes no sense to me as we are in this year 2010 the new millennium that people who are physically challenged by being other uh, uh, paralyzed or that are quadriplegic do not have accessibility to be able to go and walk, to, to travel anywhere that he or she would want to. It makes no sense to me that in this year, 2010, in this new millennium, that a person who may be deaf is not able to have accessibility in any way that is possible when we are traveling in space, not just to the moon, but beyond. It is unacceptable. I don't say that because I'm blind, physically challenged. I say that because I would hope that this 90% of the people in the world are not blinder than the blindest person without vision. I would hope that you all would have the vision to open up the vision and not only your eyes but in your mind and spirit to seeing that a person who is left without an opportunity one person means that we all are with a disability and that disability is a lack of being able to care so I would hope that every single human being, every single world leader will commit themselves to making this world a better place and accessible for every single human being on this planet. I am committed to this and as much as I have received this honor today, this honor gives me again another challenge. And this challenge is like writing another song. At the end of the day, if I'm challenged to write a song that's a hit, it's going to be number one. So we're going to win on this one too. Thank you with your support.